So I have Dr. Andrew Klein, uh, the Editor-in-Chief of Anesthesia and a Cardiothoracic uh, Anesthetist from Papworth Hospital in Cambridge. Thank you for your time. Um, uh, in your role as the Editor-in-Chief, um, how are you working with other editors uh, in better scrutinising submissions to journals? Okay, well to be honest, it's each journal for themselves. Uh, we do meet up twice a year, so all the anaesthetic journal editor-in-chiefs. There's about eight or nine of us that meet up regularly twice a year, once at the ESA and once at uh, the ASA in the US. And we meet up for a couple of hours to sort of discuss common issues. But unfortunately, we really work in, in a bubble, in isolation. So I only know what's going on in my journal and I don't know uh, what's going on in other journals. The problem is uh, it's to do with uh, making accusations and communicating without making accusations. So for example, if I suspect somebody uh, and I can't, I'm not permitted to tell other people until that suspicion has been confirmed by investigation. It's the innocent until proven guilty yeah. thing, which is fair enough. Mm. So what I would do is maybe a, a, a soft warning to somebody but we're not allowed to communicate directly about people. Okay. Now, uh, you have an interest in prehabilitation. Yep. Um, in your practice, do you receive your referrals early so uh, to allow time for the prehabilitation to occur? Yeah, well, we've had to sort of redesign our service to allow that. So we don't even wait for the referral. What we do is we see everybody at the surgical clinic, so when the surgeon sees the patient and they say, yes, you're going to need surgery, we get them before they leave the door. Uh, we check their haemoglobin immediately, uh, we get some basic details from them, and then 24 hours later we have all the blood results we need, and then we schedule those patients in for an extra clinic visit immediately. Because that gives us all the time we need, that gives us six, seven weeks instead of just a week or two weeks for the preoperative assessment clinic. So we've just moved the whole thing four weeks, five weeks earlier in the pathway. And I uh, know that you are a paying member of the Barmy Army. Right, <laughs> Will yeah. you be coming down to Australia in the summer? Oh, I'd love to. <laughs> I came, I was here eight years ago for the Ashes and that was fantastic. <coughs> and then I was here four years ago for the Lions and luckily the Lions won as well. So I've seen England win the Ashes and the Lions win the rugby. But I don't think we're going to win this time so I'll probably keep away. <laughs> okay, thanks for your time. Okay, no problem.